Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, PK78 coming at you on a Thursday afternoon. Haven't been on in a long time. There's been so much going on. So, let me just say that. Um, I've been talking. I've been posting. I've been telling everybody about my brother. Um, the cancer got aggressive. It is... Stage four brain cancer. Um, it came from small small cell cancer. Sorry, I get I get tongue tied. Um, the tumor, um, is hardening, hardening, or getting hard, and it's putting pressure on his brain. It's making him hallucinate and stuff. So, um, it's really it's 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 really getting aggressive. Um. So, I guess today, with makeup and conversation, I'm about to do my makeup just to, it's just like, just to go outside. It's not to go to work, it's not to go to anything fancy, anything like that. Um, just doing it to go, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Um, I don't, usually I look forward to going grocery shopping, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm really not looking forward to it today. Um, daylight saving time, let's talk about that. Has anybody else been thrown off their sleep schedule? Like, usually, like, they're like, yeah, I get an hour of sleep. I'm getting so much sleep, it's ridiculous. Like, I swear, like, <clears throat> excuse me, if I get up at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning, or if I get up at 6 to go to work at 8, um, it's like, when I come home, I'll make dinner, we'll eat, and we'll be watching something. And I just get so comfortable. And I'm thinking like it's like 8, 9 o'clock at night. It's like 5.30. I'm like, you you got to be kidding me. So like I'll end up falling asleep and I'll wake up at like 9. Like last night, I swear to you, you could not tell me any different. I thought I slept through the whole day. Like I really thought that my whole Thursday off, I slept. And I'm like, I was about to wake as boy 46 money came up and be like honey did i sleep through the whole day did you go to work without waking me up like it was that serious like it was really bad and then i looked at the clock and it was like 9 45 or something like that i'm like p.m what and yeah it definitely was and then um you know as boy he works my fiance works a lot like monday through friday and what he does is, like, you know, it's it could be a lot because he lifts, like, wheelchairs and stuff like that for um, underprivileged kids and stuff like that. Kids with needs. Um, so, he gets tired. He takes a nap. So, when I look at him and he's napping, I'm like, what the hey word is going on here? Um... So, yeah, like, uh, this whole daylight savings time, I never remembered when I was a kid, um, daylight saving time doing this to me, but I, yeah, I've been sleeping. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't know if there's a such thing as getting too much sleep, but if there is, I've definitely been getting too much of it. Like, ugh. anyways, um, another thing is. Um, my TikTok, my TikTok name is Punkin, P-U-N-K-I-N, Paxson, P-A-X-O-N. Uh, I believe it's 1978. Um, please go on there if you have a TikTok, add me. Um, I got a lot of little funny videos I did on there and stuff. Um, when I get bored, um, I've been, I didn't trade TikTok in for my YouTube. I would never do that. But it's just like, um... When I do my YouTubes, it's usually during makeup. Like I said, makeup a conversation. But, um, I just, I haven't really been doing a lot of makeup. Um, I haven't really just been in the mood for makeup lately. Like, my, it's winter time, so, like, my eczema gets really bad on my cheeks. and It'll be, like, little red patches everywhere. And, I know Sephora has, like, awesome foundation and stuff. But, even sometimes with the foundation, as you can see, like, it's, it's kind of still showing the redness, but, um, hopefully I can hide that out a little bit more, but, um, yeah, so I really haven't really been doing a lot of, um, 
a lot of makeup lately. So, um, there's that. Um, my daughter surprised me, and we were planning a surprise for my brother, who is sick. He does not know this. Don't tell him. But, uh, we made plans for Saturday, this Saturday, um, to go visit him. So hopefully by the grace of God, he holds on and I can go see my brother. I know you're probably wondering why I can talk about this so easily and not break down and cry. And you have to understand, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot of deaths in my family. I've lost my mother and my father. I said this in previous videos. Um, I don't have a mom to run to. I don't have a father to run to. Um, one of my sisters... Um, out of three females in my family, me and my two sisters, my oldest sister's still alive. I'm still alive. Thank God. And my middle sister, she died of cancer. My mom died of cancer. So cancer, you suck. And yeah, it took a lot of my family members. Um, so when we heard that my brother beat the lung, I'm, I'm sorry, not lung cancer, when we heard that he beat the um, throat cancer, we were relieved. We was like, okay, cool. You know, we was very happy for him. But um, it came back aggressively and it actually moved to his brain. Like, he ended up growing a tumor. Um, that's very aggressive. He's in a lot of pain. Um, he's home, which I guess um, they were discussing to send him home and let him feel comfortable um, as much as possible, um, so, now that he's home, my daughter said, mom, you know, let's go visit uncle, so, road trip, um, I am going to try to get him on video, if he feels up to it, um, he does have a GoFundMe account. Please, if you're able to, and you're hearing and looking and seeing at this video, um, he does have a GoFundMe account. I'm going to try to put the link in the description below. Um, any amount would help. Um, my family is not a type of family that's well off and they think ahead to get life insurance, um, things like that. Uh, so this was unexpected. We didn't, you know, nobody expects to get cancer. Unfortunately, he has it and he needs, there, we're building up a funding for, um, uh, for his passing to be able to get him cremated. Um, so if you see this video, uh, and you would like to donate, um, he is on GoFundMe. He has a GoFundMe account. His name is Jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, Starkey, S-T-U-R-K-I-E, uh, Senior. SR. I think you could look it up by his name. Um, it's what, it's what the, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I think you could look it up by his name. If not, you can go on my Facebook, which is Roberta Punkin, P-U-N-K-I-N, Paxson. And in my new, my feed, my whatever it's called, you can see it has a GoFundMe account. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I apologize about that. Um, getting my thoughts together. Okay, so. Yeah, so I'm asking anybody who. I know times are hard. I know um, a lot of things are going on. We're just coming out of a uh, um, pandemic and stuff like that. But if you could possibly donate, I don't care if it's a dollar, I don't care if it's five dollars, whatever you could donate, please donate it. And when you donate, you could leave a message or a comment. You could say that you saw this. Um, you just say your little sister, um, this is, you know, you, you heard me. Um, I want to make sure that he knows that I'm trying to support him. Um, I donate it and um my family members all donated we're just looking we need to raise a total of i think three thousand dollars he has eight hundred and some dollars raised 
um, maybe a little more than that. That's the last time I checked, which was like a day or two ago. Um, please, like I said, if you can, prayers, prayers are always, always, always welcome. Miracles happen every day. So, you know, whatever you feel you can do or, you know, I, I just want to say thank you ahead of time. I appreciate it. Um, back to the reason why I, I am not upset to the point to where I'm crying is because, um, when you go through so many deaths in your life of people that's close to you, you start to realize and you see this world the way that it is and you start realizing that, you know, um, this world sucks and that, um, we all have to go through death. That's what makes us all equal. So it doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. Um, nobody, not even Houdini, can escape death. And um, we may not know for sure what's after death. But let's, let's just say it has to be better than this. It has to. There, there has to be something beyond this that's better than this. Um, so... Everybody knows I believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Um, I do believe in God, which is his Father, which is our Father. Um, I've been watching a series on, I believe it's Peacock. It's called The Chosen. It made me look at life a little different. Um, for a second, let's forget about all this he say he, she said this the the universe the crystals the uh mother nature wiccans and let let's forget about all that for a second could you imagine a man on this earth walking and he he's not showboating he's not um bloating he's not he's not out here you know he's not out here for fame but he hears about these people who have no hope who have nothing who are paralyzed who are blind who are is an outcast of society who are thieves who are murderers and maybe not serial killers, but a murderer who murdered somebody by protecting his family or, um, you know, because the Romans, they sucked. They really sucked. But um, I'm just saying, like, just, just imagine a person walking this earth and this man promises you paradise. If you follow him, if you believe in the word that his, his father is giving him to spread. Okay. Let's just imagine, Let, let's just, let's just play along here. Um, because I believe it, but just imagine a human that you could touch, that you could actually feel his flesh. You can feel their hair. Just imagine a human like that, right? Or somebody in a human form walking this earth. And you physically see this person heal people. And I'm not just talking about physically, emotionally, spiritually. And you see with your own eyes that this man is capable and has the ability to do this. No magic. Not talking Chris Angel. Angel and yeah, Chris Angel. Don't talk about him. I'm talking about one hundred percent. You see this man in just cloths, no magic words, no quick, quicker than the eyes. The hands are quicker than the eyes. Not none of that. I mean, really holding somebody's hand. He had a man that had a a a hand that was like literally stiff like this, and all he did was held his hand, and you could physically see them, and he told the man to stretch out his hand, and he did, and his hand was healed, he did this in a temple, he did this in a church, and this is a man who says, 
in the movie Chosen, in the series, it, it shows you that he is breaking the barrier so you don't have to confess your sins to a, a rabbi, a priest, uh, uh, anybody. He said, I am going to, I'm going to break that barrier to where you can talk to my father yourself. He said, the church is made is not made up of bricks and stones. The church is made up of people who come together and talk about our word, who talk about my father. That's what church is. That's what church is. You don't have to go. And I'm sorry if, if, if I'm going against what anybody else believes, I'm sorry. But in my heart, when I watch this, I truly believe that this man healed Jesus Christ was healing people. I really do believe that. And, and I'm sorry, but I mean, everybody's saying, how do you believe in God when you don't see him? Jesus Christ was real. People seen him. They're not making up a cartoon character. They're not making this. Jesus Christ is not make-believe. So you tell me somebody that powerful came from what? Came from whom? There has to be something greater than what's on this earth. So with me saying that, get down, print, princess, get down. My cats always mess up while I'm on camera. If you could just imagine that came from a human, it didn't came from a ball, it didn't come from a ball fire, it didn't come from a star, it didn't come from just words. Jesus Christ was real. The ark, Noah's ark, was real. That flood was real. Biblical times were real. I don't care about when people say, how do you believe in something that you can't see? Like I said before, you see, you, you, you don't see the air, but you breathe it. And just like the air, without air, you can't live. Jesus. You're not, just to be alive doesn't mean that you're living. You got to believe and stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Times are getting worse, people. I work. I work in retail. I work in a store that sells eggs for like five something, a dozen, a dozen, 12 eggs, 12 eggs, five something. I, I was little when I was younger, not even when I was younger, a couple of years ago, eggs was a dollar, a dollar 20, if that. So you're talking about, we got hit with a pandemic. Did, did we lose chickens? Do we have a shortage of chick short shorting shortage of chickens? Do we have a shortage of cows? Because man, milk is five something a gallon. So between getting eggs and milk for the morning time, that's ten dollars for two items. Who I don't know about you, but that's kind of high. I, I ain't living a lavish life. I I ain't keeping up with the Kardashians. I'm talking about just making some pancakes and water because I'm telling you. It, it, things are going up and it's it, it, all this is written times are going to get hard the poor is going to get poor while the rich gets richer everybody's happy because fetterman got in there's some things that i don't like about fetterman how are you going to let criminals out that that did serious crimes how are you going to say abortion should be legal and i don't care who i'm hurting about this but I feel like if it's not a life or death situation, I don't believe you should be able to get an abortion. I believe if God planted a seed in your stomach and no matter how I got there, it's a gift. Because let me tell you something, there's women out here that can't have kids. I wasn't supposed to have kids. I have a daughter though. But I know what it felt like when I felt I couldn't have a baby. So, yeah, I feel like if that seed gets planted, you should let it grow. Just my opinion. But, so, yeah. Watch The Chosen. It's a very good series. As you can tell, I'm amped up about it. Had me stop doing my makeup for a second. My daughter's going to be here and be like, Mom, you ain't even ready. But I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, not sorry. That kind of went all, you know, religious on you guys. But I just think that, like, there's so there's so much stuff set out here in this world. It, it's unbelievable. Um... And I'm I'm not going to lie. Some of the scenes that I see in this uh the the thing called the the show, um, the series called Chose the Chosen. I cried. I'm not ashamed to say it. I cried. I I would I was just wondering when his mother, Mother Mary, 
Um, saw that his feet was tired. His feet was sore. And she washed her son's feet. And, you know, I, I, I would love to wash Jesus' feet. I would love to uh, comfort him and help him rest. Y'all, you know, like, I don't, I'm just saying, I always say, what's the harm in believing? It's like, you know, when you look at the weather, okay, and this is the only way I know how to, how to put this. If you look at the weather, the weatherman says that it may be a chance of rain, and you look outside, clouds are a little dark, and you have to go to work, and you're like, um... Um, and you're like, should I take the umbrella? My theory is take it because if you take it and don't need it, no harm done. But if you don't take it and you need it, you're going to get rained on. You're going to be mad and you could possibly get sick. So my theory is I'm believing wholeheartedly. I know, there's too many things that happened to me in my life. This is the reason why I believe too many things happened to me in my life. And I know there's something there. I know Jesus Christ is real. So, I'm going to stop on that note with that subject, and uh, I'm not contouring today, no, I'm not. I'm just going to wing it, because, like I said, I'm just going grocery shop, and I'm not really doing too much, but grocery shopping. Um, I would really like to do some videos when I go see my brother. Um, I'll put it on YouTube. I'm going to get some pictures. Um, sad. Um, my poor sister, she's closer to him. They're only like 10 months apart. And, um, she's, she's really going through it. Love my sissy to death. Um. But it's sad when you know you gotta watch somebody hurt so bad. And, and I know people are probably like, that's your brother too, yes. But you have to understand, there's 13 or 14 years difference between us. And that doesn't mean that I don't love my brother. Because I do. I love I love all my siblings. I love all my family members, even the ones that get on my nerves. Um, but... She's the closest to him. And it's hurting her. She don't want to let go. And I understand. I, I definitely, definitely understand. Um. So. I'm going to get another tattoo. On the 27th. This one here. It's a rose. Well, it's upside down to you guys. It's a rose. I'm going to get it done over again. As you can see, it was a cover up. Tattoo that's not very well covered up. So, my artist. Mikey Flo. Um, is going to go over it for me. He's going to redo it. And I'll have a video on that too. Um, my makeup is almost done. All I got to do is straighten my hair a little bit. So, um, sorry, I, you know, I talk so much about one subject and not too many other subjects, but it is what it is. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching my videos. Um, please, please go check out my TikTok. Like I said, um, GoFundMe is under Jesse Starkey. J-E-S-S-E-S-T-U-R-K-I-E. -S -S -E -S -S -E, senior. S-R. Um, I, I just, I, I couldn't, I can't thank people enough who did donate for the prayers, for everything. I cannot thank people enough. Um, I appreciate everything. Um, so I'm going to stop my video now because it's like 25 minutes long. And I'm sorry that this video is so long. But, um, there, you know, I just, I haven't been doing my makeup all like that. And um, I just wanted to come on here and just let get you up to speed on everything that's going on. So um, please um, like, comment, please comment share i'll try to put as many links and 
descriptions and in the descriptions the links and stuff of the stuff that i talked about i will put below please comment 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 um have a very blessed day safe weekend and i will get back with you um probably saturday um with some videos of our road trip so peace blessings safety to everybody and just have a very blessed day